Diagonalization of a matrix. Diagonalization is a process of by which the given matrix A is reduced to its simplest form, such that the eigenvalues are same and both are similar matrices. If an n by n matrix A has n linearly independent eigenvectors, then P inverse A P equal to D is diagonal with the element eigenvalues of A as the entries on the main diagonal and P is the matrix with these eigenvectors as column vectors. Also, d to the power m equal to P inverse a to the power m into P. Note, the matrix P which diagonalizes A is called model matrix of A and is obtained by grouping the eigenvectors of A into a square matrix. The diagonal matrix D is called the spectral matrix of A and the diagonal elements are called spectral values of A. Let x1 equal to x1, y1, z1, x2 equal to x2, y2, z2, then x3 equal to x3, y3, z3, b3 independent eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 of a matrix. We define P equal to the matrix x1, x2, x3. So that's equal to x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, z1, z2, z3. So we have P inverse equal to P inverse AP equal to D. So that is D equal to lambda 1, 0, 0, 0, lambda 2, 0, 0, lambda, 0, lambda 3. Problems. Diagonalize A equal to the matrix 5, 4, 1, 2. Solution. First we have to find determinant of A minus lambda I equal to 0. That is we have 5 minus lambda determinant of 5 minus lambda 4, 1, 2 minus lambda equal to 0. That is 5 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda minus 4 equal to 0. When you are opening the brackets, we are getting lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. That is lambda minus 6 into lambda minus 1 equal to 0 or lambda equal to 1 comma 6. And when lambda equal to 1, we have a minus lambda of x equal to, you are getting 4, 4, 1, 1, x1, x2 equal to 0. So that is similar to 1, 1, 1, 1, x1, x2 equal to 0, which is similar to 1, 1, 0, 0, x1, x2 equal to 0. That is, we have x1 plus x2 equal to 0. We put x2 equal to t, therefore x1 equal to minus t. Therefore, capital X is equal to minus t t or we can write it as minus 1, 1 into t. When lambda equal to 6, we have a minus lambda of x equal to 0 is minus 1, 4, 1, minus 4, x1, x2 equal to 0. Which is similar to minus 1, 4, 0, 0, x1, x2 equal to 0. And which is similar to 1 minus 4, 0, 0, x1, x2 equal to 0. That is, x1 minus 4, x2 equal to 0. Let x2 equal to t, then x1 equal to 4, t. Or x equal to 4, t, t equal to, we can write it as 4, 1, t. Therefore, our matrix P is minus 1, 4, 1, 1 or P inverse, the formula is adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. Determinant of this uh, P is minus 1 minus 4, that is equal to minus 5. Cofactor matrix C is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 4 minus 1. Adjoint of A equal to C transpose, that is equal to 1 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1. Therefore, P inverse equal to minus 1 by 5 into 1 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 or D equal to P inverse AP 
P inverse A equal to minus 1 by 5. 1 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1. 5, 4, 1, 2 equal to minus 1 by 5 into matrix 1 minus 4 minus 6 minus 6. Or we have P inverse A P equal to we are multiplying with P. So we are getting the answer minus 1 by 5 into minus 5 0 0 minus 30 so which is the matrix 1 0 0 6 so that is the diagonal matrix we are getting second one diagonal is a equal to 1 0 2 minus 1 so we are finding determinant of a minus lambda a equal to 0 that is determinant of 1 minus lambda 0 2 minus 1 minus lambda equal to 0 that is 1 minus lambda into minus 1 minus lambda minus 0 equal to 0. That is 1 minus lambda plus lambda plus lambda square equal to 0. Or lambda square minus 1 equal to 0. Lambda square equal to 1. That is lambda equal to plus or minus 1. When lambda equal to 1, we have a minus lambda i x equal to 0 is the matrix 0, 0, 2, minus 2 into the column matrix x1, x2 equal to 0, which is similar to matrix 1, minus 1, 0, 0 into the column matrix x1, x2 equal to 0. That is x1 minus x2 equal to 0. And we let x2 equal to t, then we have x1 is also equal to t. Therefore, capital X is equal to the column matrix TT or we can write it as the column 1, 1 into T. When lambda equal to minus 1, A minus lambda I of X equal to 0 or we have 1 minus lambda 0, 2 minus 1 minus lambda X1, X2 equal to 0. That is 2, 0, 2, 0, X1, X2 equal to 0 or we have 1, 0, 0, 0, x1, x2 equal to 0. x1 equal to 0 we are getting. Therefore, x2 can be any value. Therefore, capital X is equal to the column matrix 0, t. Or we write it as the column matrix 0, 1 into t. Therefore, p is the matrix 1, 0, 1, 1. And p inverse is adjoint of A divided by the determinant of is P. So determinant of P is 1 minus 0 equal to 1 and cofactor matrix C equal to 1 minus 1 0 1 and adjoint of A equal to C transpose equal to 1 0 minus 1 1. Therefore P inverse is equal to 1 0 minus 1 1 and D equal to P inverse A P and P inverse A is matrix 1 0 into 1 0 minus 1 1 into 1, 0, 2, minus 1, which is equal to 1, 0, 1, minus 1. P inverse A, P equal to 1, 0, 1, minus 1 into the matrix 1, 0, 1, 1, which is equal to the matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. This is the D. Third problem, diagonalize the 3 by 3 matrix 3, 1, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2. Determinant of A minus lambda I equal to 0. So we have the 3 minus lambda 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus lambda 2 0, 1, 2 minus lambda I equal to 0. So when you are opening the bracket and all, you are getting lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 11 lambda minus 6 equal to 0 or lambda minus 1 into lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 equal to 0 that is lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0 which implies lambda equal to 1 2 3 when lambda equal to 1 a minus lambda x equal to 0 implies 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2, 0, 2, 0, 1, 1, 
into the column matrix x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. And which is similar to the matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 into column matrix x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. From these we have x1 minus x3 equal to 0, x2 plus x3 equal to 0 and we put x3 equal to t which implies x2 equal to minus t, x1 equal to t. Therefore capital X equal to t minus t t which is equal to t into 1 minus 1 1. When lambda equal to 2, a minus lambda x equal to 0 implies the matrix 1 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 0 1 0 x1 x2 x3 equal to 0 which is similar to the matrix 1 1 minus 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 x1 x2 x3 equal to 0 that is x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 which implies x2 equal to 0 and let x3 equal to t then x1 equal to t Therefore, capital X is equal to T0 T equal to T into 1 0 1. When lambda equal to 3, we are getting the matrix 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 2 0 1 minus 1 into the column matrix X1 X2 X3 equal to 0 which is similar to the matrix 1 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 0 0 into x1 x2 x3 equal to 0 that is x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 or x2 minus x3 equal to 0 let x3 equal to t then x2 equal to t x1 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 t t or t into the column matrix 0 1 1 hence we can write t equal to the matrix 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 1 1 1 and p inverse is adjoint of p by determinant of p and the determinant of p is 1 into 0 minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 plus 0 equal to 1 and cofactor matrix c is a matrix minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 0 1 minus 1 1 adjoint of p equal to the c transpose equal to the matrix minus 1 minus 1 1 and 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 therefore p inverse is the matrix minus 1 minus 1 1 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 d equal to p inverse a p p inverse a is we are getting the matrix minus 1 minus 1 1 4 2 minus 2 minus 3 0 3 p inverse a p equal to we are getting the matrix 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 3 that is the diagonal matrix now we have the topic symmetric skew symmetric and orthogonal matrices symmetric matrix a square matrix is said to be symmetric if a transpose equal to a thus aig equal to aji skew symmetry a symmetric square matrix is called a skew symmetric matrix if a transpose equal to minus a that is a i j equal to minus a j i orthogonal matrix a real square matrix is orthogonal if a transpose equal to a inverse where a inverse equal to adjoint of a by determinant of a note the eigen values of a symmetric matrix are real the eigen values of a skew symmetric matrix are purely imaginary or zero Eigen values of an orthogonal matrix A are real or complex conjugates in pair and have absolute value 1. Example are the following matrices are symmetric or skew symmetric or orthogonal and if so find its eigen values. First one A is the matrix 6 0 0 0 2 minus 2 0 minus 2 5 
and a transpose is six zero 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 two minus two zero minus two pi equal to a. Therefore, the matrix is symmetric. Now we have finding determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero. That is determinant of six minus lambda zero 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 two minus lambda minus two zero minus two pi minus lambda equal to zero. When we are opening the brackets, we are getting lambda cube minus thirteen lambda square plus forty eight lambda minus thirty six equal to zero, or lambda equal to one six six. Second one, the matrix zero nine minus twelve minus nine zero twenty twelve minus twenty zero. A transpose equal to minus a. Therefore, the matrix is Q symmetric. Determine the tail la minus lambda equal to zero, and we are getting zero minus lambda nine minus twelve minus nine zero minus lambda twenty minus twelve minus twenty zero minus lambda equal to zero. When we are opening the brackets, we are getting minus lambda cube minus six twenty five lambda equal to zero, or lambda equal to zero twenty five i. Minus twenty five i. Third one, a equal to the matrix zero zero one zero one zero minus one zero zero, and a transpose is zero zero minus one zero one zero one zero zero. Cofactor matrix we are getting zero zero one zero one zero minus one zero zero, and c transpose. That is unchanged of a is zero zero minus one zero one zero one zero zero. Determinant of a is determinant of zero zero one zero one zero minus one zero zero, and that's equal to one. Therefore, a inverse equal to unchanged of a by determinant of a. That's uh, equal to a transpose. Hence, the matrix is orthogonal. Or we can solve like this: if a a transpose equal to i. Then we can say that a transpose equal to a inverse. So when you're finding a into a transpose, we are getting i. And determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero. When you're opening the brackets, we are getting the eigenvalues as lambda equal to one plus or minus one.